Do you know the difference between praying in church and praying at the racetrack? At the track, you mean it. My dad used to always tell that joke. I really miss that drunken bastard. I'm not trying to be blasphemous because I really do believe in God. The only problem is he doesn't believe in me. My name is Bobby Jenkins, and I'm a gambler. Now when I say I'm a gambler, I don't mean I go to Vegas with my friends a couple of times a year, or I buy some squares for my neighbor's Super Bowl pool. No, I mean, for me, it's a way of life. When you are a hardcore gambler, the very next best thing to winning a bet is losing one. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely want to win, but it's the action I crave, not the winning. As a matter of fact, if I win this race, I'm gonna be pissed I didn't bet more. I won a thousand across in the five. I've been on a losing streak for about three years now. I don't mean I lose every bet or I lose every day, but at the end of the week or the end of the month, I am down big time. Now, you might think that makes me do. Like when you're watching a roulette wheel and it's landed on red four times in a row, so you bet on black because it's due. This is called the gambler's fallacy. Take it from me. The wheel has no memory. That's my bookie calling. I'm pretty sure her grandfather was a Nazi war criminal. I'm not joking. I'm telling you, Tom Brady and Giselle aren't really married. It's just an arrangement set up by the Ragents to create a super couple. That is so not true. No, I'm serious. My cousin lives in Boston, he told me. He says it's like common knowledge back there. Holy shit. You see us sitting over there? Oh fuck, here we go. That's Bobby Badbeat Jenkins. Who's Bobby Deadbeat Jenkins? Not Deadbeat, Badbeat. You know, he came in second at the World Series of Poker a few years back. You never heard of him? He used to be one of the best poker players in the world was an eyelash away from winning the main event in Vegas. It was down to just two players. Bobby had a big chip lead, and then it happened. What? What happened? The worst fucking bad beat in the history of poker. The worst fucking bad beat in the history of poker. See, Bobby got dealt pocket aces, and his opponent got dealt pocket nine. Betting went crazy, and they got it all in pre-flop. They both turned over their cards, the crowd went wild. Then the dealer dealt the flop. Seven. King. Ace. Bobby had flopped the set of aces. Then he spit in the faces of the poker gods, committed the absolute cardinal sin in poker. What? What did he do? Tell me. He celebrated too soon. Once he saw that third ace on the flop, he raised his arms in victory. I need another drink. Celebrating too soon is a cardinal sin in poker? Oh, 100%. Once the crowd calmed down, the dealer dealt a turn card. Nine of spades. The crowd went silent. Bobby lowered his arms and his face went blank. Uh, your face would have gone blank too, dickhead. He was one card away from winning the bracelet in seven million dollars. Then the dealer dealt a river card. Nine of diamonds. Bobby falls to the floor, crowd goes insane. It took the tournament director 10 minutes just to restore order so they could continue. I don't remember anything after that. But you said Bobby had a big chip lead, right? Yeah, I mean, he did. But after that hand, he lost his fucking mind. Yeah, 
became a total donkey and basically gave the tournament away to his opponent. Yeah, but I heard second place pays like $3 million. I think he's gonna be okay. Yeah, I mean, you would think so, right? Only problem is, after that loss, he kind of spiraled out of control and became a total fucking degen. What's a degen? Yeah, a degenerate gambler and betting on anything and everything. I even heard he was betting on WNBA games or some shit. Anyway, allegedly he's almost broke and totally cursed on anything he bets on. Okay, who'd you hear that from? The same dude you heard about Brady and Giselle? <laughs> That's funny. How about you give me another beer, barmaid? I hate to admit it, but that's pretty much my story. Hey, Bobby, real quick, can I get a quick selfie with you? Thanks, man, I appreciate it.